Hi everyone, welcome to week three. Just want to touch base and make sure that everyone has what you need to get through this next week's submission. So going uh, forward, here we are. Uh, right now, these are your tasks that you should be working on. Um, all of you who submitted your five to eight page draft received feedback. Um, I am going to be expecting uh, that you respond and make any changes that I've told you you need to be changing or if I made a suggestion to you and you're not sure that's where you want to go with my suggestion or you have a different opinion, um, you know, we can, we can visit about that. Um, you can delineate a note back to me. You can reply to my comment and say, I want this this way because X, Y, and Z. All right. Um, I'm not going to draw a hard line that says you absolutely have to take every bit of input I have given you and make those changes. There are some things I will be fairly firm about, um, but others I may say this is just an idea, a suggestion, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay. Um, I'm sure as you look through your drafts, you saw that I was very explicit. I marked everything. If it was something that wasn't correct APA wise, if it was something I felt was an awkwardly worded sentence, um, or something grammatically incorrect, I marked it all. All right. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want you to see what I'm looking for in what you submit to me. I don't expect to have to continue to keep editing so deeply. I want you to be turning in papers that are as close to what you think is done as possible. So please pay attention and do the editing before you send it in to me. If you are not sure how something should be worded, you can note that, you can mark it in a color and say, I'm not sure if I like this yet, that sort of thing. But in general, I'm looking for a fairly polished to the highest degree possible um, writing piece that you can. So I'm not doing a bunch of editing saying, you're missing a word here. This sentence doesn't flow, that kind of thing. Okay, so please, please do attend to that um, because it takes me a while to get through all of the papers that you submit and I try to do that in as timely a manner as I can. As I mentioned last week, I do read them in the order that they come in. And so if your paper comes in early, it will be the first read. If it comes in later, it's gonna get done just that much later. But I am also aware that you're waiting to respond to my feedback. So I work very hard to get it back to you. Also, please remember that I'm available to get on the phone with you. We can get on the phone and talk through something. We can get on Google Hangout where we can see each other and I can have your paper up on the screen and we can look through it together and make some, um, make some, uh, hopefully make some feedback come to life for you so you, you have a sense of where you want to go with things. Um, really, we should kind of get into a flow here where you don't need as much of my feedback because you kind of have a sense of what I'm looking for in terms of synthesis and the work you're doing with your literature so that we can focus really less about editing an APA and more about what is your paper saying about the research that you are reading and drawing those important conclusions and later the applications that you're going to use. Um, probably the one thing I saw consistently in your papers was just that tendency to throw in some opinion. And I don't think you mean to or intend to. Um, it's just kind of hard because you're developing thoughts and ideas about what you're reading. You have to be very conscientious though about compartmentalizing that. And remembering the literature review is just simply synthesizing it for us, the reader, to say, this is what's in the literature. Don't tell us if it's good or bad or wonderful or exciting. That's not part of the lit review. Okay, keep that separate. There will be a time and a place in a few weeks where you're gonna to get to go crazy and tell us what you think about the literature and that's gonna be fun for you to write. But the lit review is not the place where that happens, okay? So finally, this week, what you're gonna be submitting by Wednesday night is an additional set of pages. So you're going to include the first five to eight pages that I've already seen, and you're gonna to add to it so we're hitting around the 10 to 15 page mark. Remember my reminder to you, please highlight everything that is brand new in yellow, because that will let me know I don't need to go back and reread sections I've already read. I will probably scan through it briefly and, and note things, 
Um, but if you made a change, I want to highlight it in yellow so I can see that it's been changed, okay? If it's brand new, I want to highlight it in yellow so I can be sure I am reading it. When I turn it back to you, I'll pull the highlighting out and I'll just have my comments, okay? So together, we're going to keep working and building on the same document. So you have your five to eight pages. You're going to add to it with additional sections of your lit review. Um, also, remember... Um, Put in your table of contents as you start to build your headers. Those headers are going to go into your table of contents. Look at your APA manual if you need any help on that. Sections 3.02 and 3.03 .03 on page 62 help you. I also noted that a number of times when people had headers in their paper that I didn't feel met APA requirements. Okay, so just throw a sticky note in there, um, just like I have here. Let me find my APA book. It's right here handy. You can see I've got sticky notes all over the place. Because um, I'm constantly going back and double checking myself when I'm asking you to change something so that I know I'm following the requirements as well. Okay, so please look at the book. All right, so that's pretty much it for you. Um, also, the other thing that's new this week, and I mentioned it in an email to you, is that you do have the option to use Turnitin as a place for pre submission. It will generate a similarity score for you and also a grammar check. This is also going to help you. Remember I said, I don't expect to be the editor of your paper. And if I'm continually having to edit your paper, I'm going to start taking some issue with it. Um, so use this tool. If I made a number of comments last time about, you're missing a word here. This doesn't fit. The tense is wrong. Things like that. Because the grammar check is going to highlight and tell you all of those things. All right, so I encourage you to use this prior to submitting it here in the Dropbox where I will see it and where I will give you your feedback, okay? Um, please also remember the similarity score just helps you know if wording needs to be paraphrased. This is going to tell you what are direct quotations from the literature, and if they are not correctly cited or paraphrased, it's going to show up in the similarity score. All right. Um, there is a little information right here about how to understand the similarity score and understanding the E-Rater feedback. So again, this is just a tool for you to use. It's optional. I like it because it, again, helps with some of the editing. I also remember, uh, and it still happens to me now because I'm actively writing. I'm going to turn my, my um, screen and I'm going to let you see what I have happening over here. Do you see all this? This is my writing um, using uh, the color coding synthesis method um, to do the work I'm doing on a paper this summer. So, um, so I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I know what writing is like. Um, I also know you get very close to it and sometimes you can read something 20 times and you miss something. And that's what this is helpful for. It's just that new set of eyes. Also remember, we still have our forum up here at the top. I get to it right there, the Q&A forum. It's another place you could throw out a note and say, hey, somebody want to trade back and forth? I'll read your paper, you read my paper. And that way you have some, some feedback that's coming from another source, another set of eyes that maybe can look at something um, besides me. So that's what I have for this week. We are moving along, guys. So this week is just that additional set of pages to get you to 10 to 15 pages so far in your lit review. Um, I have enjoyed everything I've read so far. I am learning a lot from all of you. You're reading some wonderful articles, and I look forward to seeing what you do this week. Have a great week, everybody. Bye.